It's got a nice atmosphere here in the darkest hours of the night. It's a lot of history and they haven't totally destroyed it in place of insipid new boring architecture yet. You still got a pretty fair share of old brick. If you haven't noticed, I'm really against conformity. I'm into more esoteric, eccentric manifestations of creativity like this school. It's probably a nightmare going to this school for the kids. This Catholic school, probably a lot of evil nuns in there. This evening, it adds a pleasant mood to the situation. What the hell is this place? What is this place, man? This over the Rhine section of town is kind of just like a really rundown, non-touristy French quarter. It's got a lot of the same facade style buildings. So I venture around Cincinnati in the darkest hours of the night. I'm pretty impressed with the unique, you know, atmospheric architecture going on here. It doesn't seem like they're in a big rush to tear everything down. There's a lot of German background here. So that explains this Alpenhaus style. This clock tower peers down through the gaunt treetops over the city. We got, I think, what was a monastery. It's got a cross on top up on this hill, Mount Adams, over the city. Perched high atop this peak. It's a pretty decent view. You got the Ohio River down there, you got bridges, the rail yard, all that operation is well over the this, this skyline, about probably three miles this direction. You got Covington, Kentucky, and then Newport, Kentucky here, and Monastery overlooking everything, perched atop this hill. Cincinnati come to Crowley's Highland House Bar on top of Mount Adams. It's got a great view. It's got nice people. The official name is Crowley's Highland House Cafe. So this is Josh the bartender. Hi, I'm bartending. One of the oldest liquor licenses on register in Hamilton County, but this is the oldest Irish Catholic bar in the city of Cincinnati. Uh, it was originally founded as a men's club, a social club. And through the years, it kind of just transcended from being just the social club into being uh, an actual pub or a bar. Um, it's been like that for since probably the 60s, 60s, 70s. But back then, it was really just a social club. Women weren't allowed in the bar. They weren't allowed to sit at the bar. Uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't drink alcohol. They could only drink water. If they were in here, they had to sit at a table. You know, clearly over time, that's changed. But not much else has changed. If you take a... Take a good look around. Stob the Hobo. This is the south edge of the CSX slash Norfolk Southern Queensgate Yard. You got Cincinnati Union Terminal there that looks like a Death Star. Not really excited about tomorrow because I'm gonna have to get on a moving train. This could be the one of the toughest yards in the country and it's not because of security. The Norfolk Southern crew chain spot is going to be behind these uh, lifts for the intermodal. You got CSX main lines here, and it's just, it's inaccessible. There's no way to get in there whatsoever, night or day. The border of the yard is other tracks and this intermodal thing. The main lines are smack dab in the dead center of all this mess. And as you can see, you got an office here. So in other words, I'm gonna have to get on moving in the morning and usually that's not a big deal. I've got this heaviest pack I've ever been carrying right now. It's gotta be 50 pounds. And that's gonna be an unknown at this point, how that's gonna work. They pull out slow. I'm trying to get a southbound intermodal that should be coming through in the morning. I'm not 100% sure I can get on the thing with my pack. So that should be interesting. I'm gonna go hit the hay right now. It's about 3 a.m. 
So I'm not gonna get a lot of sleep either before he comes in. I'm really annoyed right now because one of the, the straps on my pack just broke. It's trash basically now. The, the right shoulder strap has just broken off. This big silly military spec pack. And I guess just as I've been saying, a lot of stuff that used to be good is now garbage and this pack is now included. I'm not sure what that's gonna mean yet because it just happened, but it's not good. It may be the end of the pack. I've got my other one inside this pack. The train should be creeping out of the yard over this bridge at some point in the morning and then we'll go from there. Well, in a series of unfortunate events, <clears throat> I missed both of the southbound intermodals that come through here in the morning. They're short. I couldn't even get the camera on. I was panicking. They're like 30 cars. And it was raining and I just couldn't get my stuff ready. Hopefully there will be a GM coming south on this line. But there ain't any other intermodals until tomorrow. So that's life. You got to be on your game. This is a pro level yard to catch a train out of. This is absolutely outside the realm of your average beginner. Look at this. This is supposed to be, a, I thought this was a mil spec pack. Look at this. Completely ripped off here. And that doesn't show any promising sign that you could reattach it. Look at this, gar this is garbage. I don't know how long I can one strap that pack. I've got my other pack in there, which means I'd have to jettison a fair amount of gear, which I may have to do. Definitely the lamest day of the trip so far. I missed the trains going south. My bag broke. The weather sucks. And these northbounds, they're all coming in like this. <clears throat> totally a breeze to get on. You got CSX going south. That's slow enough. Now what I see here is we may have <clears throat> a southbound NS, which is what I want, creeping out. And if that's the case, I'm going to board it with the hope <clears throat> that we don't go the wrong way and go to Louisville. I don't think that's common that trains go that way from here, but it's not impossible. He's coming. Got to just act casual. I really hope I can get on with this pack. Let's see what the kind of... If I got rides. These damn cars! Ah! With this bag, it's too freaking heavy. It majorly sucks. I can't get on any of these things with this. There wasn't one. I would have had to put it on one car and get on another. Uh, this is really frustrating with this stupid bag breaking on me. This is like five minutes later and another train's coming. Try not casual once again. All right, round two. Nice. This is a sweet car. I've never seen one of these. This stuff's hot. This is hot. This metal is hot. This could be the coolest ride I've ever seen in my life. Stop the hobo, peace it out. Cincinnati, this, this steel coils, they're hot. These are warm. These were just made somewhere in town. And I'm hoping what that means is I can crawl in and warm up. Really interesting turn of events. Five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, I'd given up because I couldn't get on the train. And I'm on this train with these very warm, they're not hot yet. I mean, they're cooled off, but these are just made steel coils. It's the Ohio River, it's still bright, pretty cold and not swimmable. If you can see the heat, there's heat coming off of these coils. Covington, Kentucky here, not much going on. This is Kentucky, this is the first time I've gone into Kentucky on a train. I've kind of glanced off it a few times, but we're going straight into it now.
This is not the kind of train that is going a long distance. This could be going, I don't even know, with just steel coils, I, it could be going to a factory right down here. So I'm a little concerned about that. I'm hoping it's not going to Louisville. And I just want to get as far as Danville and I can get off, hang out there, and then switch to another train tomorrow, which is the plan. I got no idea what's going on. This I've never seen anything like this out west. I've never seen a rail car like this. Never seen a car like this at all. It's like a converted container car or something. Delicious. Lexington, which I had no idea about. That is impossible escape with that barbed wire, and I'm glad I didn't get on a stack going south of here. I didn't even see this. I had no idea this existed. K line, ridiculous. These coils are way hotter than other ones. This one, look at that. That's hot, which enables me to cook my favorite road food right now. something in there because this train's not slowing down or stopping here. Probably the only time I'll ever see this place. Lexington, Kentucky. Greetings from Danville, Kentucky. Major stop outside of town. Finally got in here. Very interested to see what this place looks like in the daytime. I'm not sure what's going on. If this is some kind of mill thing. The fragrance coming out of here is amazing. It's like this sweet, malty smell. And I'm exhausted right now. I had to walk in a little ways. I'm just gonna hit the hay and uh, Check out the town tomorrow. There's a lot of cops driving around for whatever reason. But not because of me. What's going on? Here in Danville, this is looking like a possible problem. Because uh, they're not, not all the trains are stopping, and there's a fork that is a significant one before the next crew change. It's either gonna go Knoxville or Chattanooga, and I, I gotta tell you, I don't know how to tell. I gotta go to Chattanooga, and the problem is that even that's not good enough. I mean, I, I need a train that's gonna go straight through, because the, the general manifest is stopping, but if I do that, we got Knoxville as a possibility, and that's almost like bus time if I go there. If I end up there, I, that's, I'm gonna have to get a bus. Got a 
historic vibe. We've got these traditional Kentucky cabins here. There's not a lot going on right now in here. I'd say I'm trying to find supplies, and I'm just finding old, weathered-looking cabins. From, I don't know, 200 years ago. This one's got a bell. I don't know how you ring it, but I hear business is good at this place right now. This nice college campus going on. It's under this overpass in the end. I think I'm just gonna overnight here, relax a bit. This is the ideal setting for hanging out, camping out. I couldn't really get a fire going, but you go, you got a spacious bridge, no apparent heat on any of this. The beer store is close. I'm just gonna enjoy a solid day hanging out here and then peace out tomorrow. Delicious. This is ideal hobo conditions here. And I just gotta take advantage. I'm gonna set back the trip by a day, but it's just so nice under here and it might rain. And I think I'm figuring out the yards. Out of nowhere, this incredible storm has just come up. I'm really glad I decided not to get on the train I just saw going south. Look at this. I hope this is gonna clear up today. It's a mega storm. It's got thunder. I'm stuck here under the bridge. I ain't even gonna try to get out. I don't have a raincoat. Yeah. Oh, forget it. This is the absolute worst weather to ride in. Snow, ice cold, it's not that big a deal. Heavy rain like this, out in the open, is could be suicidal. Starting to make sense of the situation here. We got stacks are coming in. I don't know if all of them are refueling but the ones out of Chicago are refueling here by truck, like this one. Brook Southern runs on a fairly tight schedule from what I can see. So, leading the fleet, there was one earlier, that's gonna be the 295, and I think this is the 215. I should be able to deduce the right train. I'm thinking if I get the first train in this morning fleet that comes in every day, I should be fine. I'm not doing anything now, I'm staying put until the rain stops. But I believe this should be doable. And then up behind here, you got nothing up there. Around that corner, just run and jump on. It's got non-stop people driving back and forth on it. And I know I'm gonna stand out and probably get talked to by the cops. Just for not being in a car, it's seems weird to a lot of people, I think, to not be in a car these days. Over here, this yard has got a lot of activity. I got no idea what to make of it. Again, you got Forks to the north, either Cincinnati or Louisville, and then this way you got Knoxville or Chattanooga. There's no way to tell which way you're going unless you got inside info, and I'm still gonna be kind of guessing tomorrow, but I got a general idea I'll get the right train. I don't know how the hell you got water coming out of this rock. Because this is above, this is as high as you get here. Well, I've been in Danville a little under 24 hours and I can say it's definitely enough. There's nothing interesting going on here. There's not any nightlife. There's not a cool bar. There's really nothing remaining of whatever was interesting here. There's, you know, the little old historic looking buildings in this, but overall, when I wake up, I'm expecting the southbound to Jacksonville train to be coming in. And I'm gonna board it and maybe stay on the rest of the distance. 
I'm glad to see Kentucky. I've never been deep into Kentucky like this. But that's, you know, basically just saying I've seen it. I wouldn't say anything about this town is remarkable. I'd say, honestly, this is probably better to do on a road trip. I've heard there's some cool nature around here, but there's no way you'd find it from the train. So I'm probably better to come through here in a car if you want to see it better. Here you go again, day two. I can't even get out of this doorway here. I can't even move. Look at this. This is so ridiculous. This may veto the trip. Another day. Look at this weather. This is impossible to even go anywhere without getting drenched. Displeased with this. This exact same way this happened both times. This came out of just a little clouds in the morning. Ten minutes later, it's doing this. Nuts. I'm thinking this is going to delay the trip another day. I mean, this is not just a rainstorm. This is a absolute full force torrential downpour with lightning. It's just not going to happen. This, my stuff is soaked. I didn't. My stuff is out. It did not look like this. And half an hour ago, there was some sun. I mean, my mistake. There was no sign of it. Mistake leaving this stuff out. That's drenched. These are wet. Let's see how waterproof this pack is here. All right, this is, appears to be relatively dry. Yeah, it's got a waterproof coating. Tough call what to do here. This train's here. I don't, I, I, I don't know where it's going. <sighs> Not a crisis here. It's a, I'm really glad it stopped raining. It looks like the, the system's moving out. Temperatures and everything have definitely pleasantized in the last hour. I gotta point out, look, spring is spring in here. This is March 1st. You got plenty of trees just starting to bud here. Look at this spot. This is where you wait for the train. Look at that. That's the beer store. I'd say you can't improve on this. As, I mean, there's a lot of places where it's a five mile walk. This is impossible to miss the train if you wait for the fuel trucks to show up. Because all the southbounds that are stopping have fuel trucks coming and fueling them here. You can't miss the train. Like you can risk free go get beer and it almost takes some of the fun out of it. But I mean, look at that beer store. It's right there. I think I've accomplished some of my mission already. I mean, it's warm here. I'm barefoot now on March 1st. The goal is to warm up. So I'm gonna say I've accomplished some of that goal. Shit. I don't know who he is. He ain't stopping. I'm honestly not sure what train it is. But I got no choice. So I just switched cars to one of these Cadillac trainers. Look at this. So probably the most safe ride ever to go through surveillance. And I'm on it. 